Is this? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Queen! Oh, is this Anaconda? I really hope this is the fart parody. No, My this is not happening. My so this is happening. My I'm censoring this for myself. None unless you got buns, hon. A boy toy named Troy. My name is in this, though. A boy toy named Troy. Me and all my friends, when we saw this, you were just like, what? I have no idea what to think about this. Bananas on a turntable, because that makes so much sense. People always talk about this video. I've been trying to avoid watching it for a reason. Oh my god. I don't feel comfortable watching this with anyone except myself. Oh, stop! Why are you this is so? Wow, that was such subtle advertisement placement. My anaconda don't my anaconda don't want none unless you got bones, huh? Mom, I'm censoring myself. Look at her butt. It's not her real butt. No one's butt can be that big. I never made it this far into the video, so. Look at her butt. Look at her butt. This song is great. This dude named Michael. Yeah, this is totally how people work out. Bigger than a tower. I ain't talking about iPhones. The kids should be hearing that one lyric right there. Apparently I'm working out wrong because apparently you're supposed to wear less clothes when you work out. Ever since this video came out, the world has been changed. Like, this is all anyone talks about. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. It's so catchy though. don't want none unless you got Wait, was that the guy who's saying like, I like big butts? This is different than kids right Like, I was watching Frozen things. Now I'm watching Nicki Minaj and butt naked. Yeah. Oh, Drake. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't even know why this part is even necessary. Some people have the Rolling Stones and the Beatles. We have Anaconda and Nicki Minaj. You hit skinny bitches, what? You skinny bitch. I got a big fat ass. It's pretty well known, Nicki. You don't need to tell us. I should have brought holy water today. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ew, too much ass. Stop. He <laughs> Drake, have you no shame? I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. That brought me a lot of joy right there. <laughs> Was it absolutely necessary? You couldn't find anything else. Butts became like so big this year. Like literally. <laughs> So what do you think of Nicki Minaj's new song and music video? I can't lie, it's very catchy. It's amazing, for obvious reasons. I will say I enjoyed it a little bit. It's a thing that most people my age that are guys would like. There's only one word that can describe that video truly, and that is booty. So much booty. It's gross, like it's all just ass. I think it's portraying women in like, a really sexist way. It sounds like every other pop song out there, except for Sir Mix Lot. I like him a lot. At least it goes with the song. It's not like just something random. It actually like correlates to what the song is about. What is this song about? But an anaconda isn't a snake. That's all I know, and I don't want to really say it. But you don't want it unless you got a booty. No one's going to find you sexually appealing if you do not have a big butt. Maybe it's a feminist song about women being in power. We have some lyrics that we'd love for you to read for us. Fantastic, let's do it. <gasps> this dude named Michael used to ride motorcycles. <laughs> this next line. <laughs> bigger than a tower. I highly doubt that. I ain't talking about Eiffels. Real country blank blank. Real country ass. I'm not, I don't feel comfortable saying that word. Let me play with his rifle. <laughs> oh my god. Now that bang bang bang. I let him hit it because he's slaying cocaine. Always a great life choice when the reason you're sleeping with someone is because they're a drug dealer. He tossed my salad like his name Romaine. <laughs> he tossed my salad like his name is Romaine. That's disgusting. That one's clever. Okay, I will give Nicki Minaj or whoever her writers are that one. It'd be nice if they were this clever with like a positive message. My church isn't gonna be happy about this. A lot of women and younger girls not only like her music, but also are inspired by her story because she's this famous female rapper who came from nothing. Is it okay for her to make a video like this when she has that kind of influence on people? Yes, just because people look up to you 
doesn't mean that you should have to censor yourself to be what people think that you need to be. She's always been like that. So I mean, like, why would you controversial about that now? From coming from nothing to being this big, like she's one of the biggest rappers in the world and she's a girl. Showing herself as this character, I don't think it'd be good in the long run. It's not a okay song to put on the radio because she's talking about really ex explicit things. Even though um, they might blur things out, kids are still gonna like watch the music video. What are girls gonna think when they see this if they wanna aspire to be like a rapper in the industry that they have to be naked and make songs just about twerking to be successful? What do you think it does to society when so many female celebrities do things like this when males are rarely portrayed that way? Yeah, it's, ooh, ooh. Ouch, that had a nerve. It kind of bothers me in a sense to think like, why haven't I thought about this? For me, it's like normal now, which kind of also says something about our society that it is normal for a 14 year old girl to see like Nicki Minaj then and be like, oh, that's normal. It just makes it even more okay for everybody else to bring bringing girls in doing that kind of stuff. I can't even think of a woman who has ever like not taken off her clothes to become more famous. Magazine covers, you see women in their bikinis and then you see men in suits fully clothed. And it's, what is going on here? How many boobs do you see in movies, but how many do you see like none? The only time you see a penis on Game of Thrones is when they're about to die and you see boobs all the time. Is that fair? No. Is it, is it preferred? Maybe. And there are glimmers of hope here and there, you know, where they have like a strong female protagonist. And it's really interesting. I don't know if you guys heard of uh, The Legend of Korra. It's like a great show. The flip side to some of this controversy is people claim that this video is a form of feminism. What? It's empowerment. They're flaunting because they want to and they can do what they want. What is your thoughts on that? It makes sense. Like, I can't say that that's wrong. I just don't think that way was the right way to show that. From a guy's perspective, it just looks like you're trying to get attention. It's a yes and no question. She's putting herself out there in ways to expose herself the way she wants to and she's expressing herself, but at the same time, she's not because she's over-sexualized and she's objectified. It's empowering but it's objectifying. Pick one. The term rape culture has been used to describe our society, saying that we don't even realize that we're surrounded with the objectification of women across society, including the media, which some say leads to the mistreatment of women. It's so true. Like, I hate it. I've done like uh, some research about ads and media over-sexualizing women, and it's all very subconscious. We do have those preconceptions about women because it's what we get as an influx when we're young. Men think it's just normal to have sex. How about you teach young men and boys to learn how to respect women? I almost feel like it is because of these music videos and culture that kind of shows like how these women have no clothes on, and it just makes men feel like they're entitled to that body because they see it all the time. The guys in my grade or like a lot of the times like when they have like a relationship they always like be like send nudes send nudes because you have to because i'm your boyfriend when they see something like that they're probably going to be like oh if drake can do that then i can ask for some girl to do it too because i'm just like drake we allow it to be mainstream because we, we tend to like it so much i mean especially when it comes to this close to nudity we're allowing it to the extent that it makes it so okay when it shouldn't be as okay as it is. So back to the video itself, some people think all this controversy is a big overreaction because the video is just fun and it's supposed to be a funny song. It makes sense. I'll be honest, the, last, the first time I heard it, I was hysterically laughing. I feel like people just overreact over nothing. I guess, but I think there were better ways she could have maybe gone about it. I feel like if she didn't give the lap dance, it'd be kind of like um, that sort of idea. All the other times, there was no guys, right? And the music video was all girls. They're just thinking, oh, this is fun. I'm getting views. This is becoming more popular. Awesome but they're not really realizing the guys are still treating women as objects. So finally, all this being said, yes or no, is this video appropriate or not for Nicki Minaj to have made? No. I think it was appropriate. No. No. For her, yeah, why not? No. No. I don't think that it would be correct to tell her not to make stuff like that. No, she shouldn't have. Yeah, because Nicki Minaj, she's always been like that. No, please, Nicki, <laughs> change. Don't let Vatu win. No, it's not okay, just because it's, I feel like it's just too much. As much as I enjoyed it, it's just too much. Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. If you want to watch bonus footage from this episode, make sure to check it out on the React channel. My anaconda don't want none unless you got a personality. Goodbye.